everybody should that ever watches anything on this channel, all four of you or five of you, should think count yourself very blessed because I had done a video earlier today about how to start a law practice. And unless you're a lawyer, which probably if you're watching this channel, you're not, because I do nothing but rant about how I hate lawyers. And if you, and, and, and part of that is just you know you get sick of seeing the same stuff over and over again. But but frankly. You should thank this lady if you sent a question in to me today, but maybe be able to do a whole video on it so I don't, didn't go off on how to start a law practice, which might be a good a good channel or something. I don't know. It ended up being this just, this is what I did in the story of my life for a couple of years when I started. And I think that would be pretty boring to everybody. It'd be completely useless to most people and, and useless to everybody watching this channel, it, all four of you, which includes me and my other channel, which is two, my uh, my mom and my wife, that's four. That's it. That's the only people. Oh, I think my mom made a channel for her, her for uh, one of my dogs. But that's it. You see four, but nobody, nobody's watching it. I could say the most scurrilous thing on this channel. No one will ever hear it. But... Here's a good question. A lady sent a thing in and said, and this is a problem, not just if you are that one lawyer that was watching this because you thought, hey, maybe I might learn how to run a practice over there with this guy that's been doing this for 30 years. I might know something. I will summarize that other one real quick for you, that other practice. Start off in criminal, build a reputation in the courthouse, not the courthouse, but in the jailhouse. Who cares about the courthouse? courthouse impressing judges and, and clerks and secretaries it doesn't do you any good especially impressing the other side the prosecutors doesn't do you any good you don't want to be anyone saying nice things about you with those people is you're off on the wrong track you want to be hated by them you want to be oh my goodness that guy's here again okay but in the jailhouse you want a good reputation the jailhouse will build you a good reputation on the street these are things that you should cherish these are things you can build a practice on and you can go as high and as far as you want that's it I learned that 30 years that's it all there Everything you need to know about practicing law is that you don't need an office, you don't need, you don't even need a computer, man. You could run this whole thing on your cell phone. My, uh, my commander in the guard did it. I mean, he was a criminal. He specialized in appeals and things, but I think he literally told me he ran it off his cell phone, which it, which I boom completely believe you can do that. And he was good too. He was a really respected guy. Knew what he was doing. So look, you want to? You, you just got out of law school. Uh, nothing. No feedback. No. No. You got nothing but rejections. What am I going to do? Go down there, sit in the criminal courthouse till somebody looks like they need a lawyer and say, hey, what if I go in there and do this for you for free? I'm new at practicing law, but I mean, I have been to law school. And together, you and I will figure this out. Don't lie to them. Don't act like you know something you don't know. Say, look, we'll figure this out. I'm, I'm, I may know some things that could help you, and we'll see. Let me just sign on and be your attorney. And if you don't like me, you can fire me and get rid of me. And you, that costs you nothing. Take that person. Do a good job for them, it will grow. They'll tell people the next person you charge them money to do it because you're not a newbie anymore and somebody's in jail, you get your butt down to the jail as fast as you can. If you've got kids and family and stuff, this probably isn't your game. But if you're a young guy and you got a car or you live close to the courthouse, you get down to the courthouse as fast as you can anytime somebody's in the jail and you spend time with them in the jail because the, the more time you spend with a person in jail, the jail, your reputation will travel faster in the jailhouse than it will anywhere else. And you can build a practice overnight that way. And pretty soon you'll have plenty of clients, you'll have cash flow. You will, if you want an office, you can get one uh, and, and you'll be able to make ends meet and you'll survive. And, and, and you don't have to be a great lawyer. You literally don't even have to be a trial lawyer. You could plea everybody. Be easy for you, okay? Do that. And you'll be successful. Sorry, I spent that much time on it. Let's get back to this lady's question who saved everybody. You can, I'm almost saying the things fast forward to like 425, okay? All right. She wanted to know look, hey, she, this run, a lot of people run into this. They, they, the other side is smart enough to file a, a general denial, okay? They file just a basic answer. They don't counter sue. They don't do anything. It's very important that you recognize that they don't count. If they counter sue you for divorce, you cannot do this. But if they don't counter sue you, here's the way you go. Let's say you're in a big county and it's busy and it's Dallas or someplace and they require you to do mediation, they require you to do pretrials. And, and the courts, I understand the courts why they do why they do this. 
because they've got to manage these dockets and they're, they're huge. They can't just say, oh, set a hearing date just to see if somebody will show up on the final trial date because then the other side shows up, nobody's ready for trial, everybody gets a reset and it's just a waste of the judge's time. So I understand why the courts are doing it, but you got to actually recognize that, you know, there are rules to the game and you, you know, you got to play the rules. Don't hate the, hate the game, not the player, right? Here's how to, but there's, anytime there's a problem, there's always a solution. Here's the solution. You go down there, you set a TO hearing, they don't show up. You got all you wanted. You got most of the things you got your, you probably got, if you got a kid, you probably got all the orders you need for the time being, but you got other issues and you want to get divorced with this person and you might have your, maybe you've, you're planning to get married again and you just got to get this over with so you can get with the person you love and you care about, okay? How do you do this? How you get there and you don't have to wait a year. There's a way to do it. So you know the person's not showing up, they're not playing with you. So and you and you go to set it for a final trial and the judge says, Okay, go do mediation, and then once you've done mediation, I'll put you on a pretrial docket. Or they'll put you on a pretrial docket, but they say before you before you get to pretrial to make sure you got the mediation done, and then we can send, if you don't, we're gonna send you back to mediation. You don't want to do mediation because it's expensive. You don't want to do mediation because it's uh because the other side is not going to participate. Now, there are mediators. There are ways around. You can go sign up with it, like a pro bono mediation service, or you can find a really inexpensive mediator that, you know, because there are mediators out there that, that aren't that expensive. You can pay them their 200 bucks or 100 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever. There are people, there are, if you look around, you'll find mediation services, knowing the other side is not going to show up, knowing the mediator is just going to check that box and move on. That's one way to deal with it, okay? And that's probably the preferred way to deal with it. I get a little tricky sometimes, and my response to this lady was exactly this. If they've only filed an answer, file a no evidence summary judgment and a request to waive mediation. Okay? So if they don't show up, now to, when you do a summary judgment, there's some rules you gotta follow. You gotta know the rules of rules, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta rule the rules, the summary judgment rules, okay? But you set the but you set the you set the motion for summary judgment. And, uh, and you know, and I might have gotten the rules wrong when I sent them back to that lady. I'm just having one of those days. I get the numbers mixed up and everything because I said rules 21A when I meant, you know, I'm, I'm, I might have missed those up. I'll correct those. But go to the summary judgment rule in the Texas Rules of Civil Procedure, okay? And uh, you've got to give people notice. you got to give them at least 21 days notice. Set a no evidence summary judgment. What that is is it says... I pled all these things in my pleading. All you follow is a general denial. I want you to come forward and refute what part of my pleadings are, uh, what part of these pleadings are uh, that you controvert. What are you saying is not true? And then you also, I would file, personally I'd file a little summary of some basic facts backing up all my pleadings. So, you know, take your pleadings and say it's in the best interest of the children, the children to live with, with you, that this, the, this, uh, this uh, visitation uh, arrangement would be the best. This child support amount would be the best based on these numbers. I put facts into it. It take it wouldn't take you long. Take you you know an hour to put that together. Draft up the affidavit. Attach it to the motion for summary judgment. Attach your pleadings to the motion. File it all with the court. Okay. Now you set it with the same day. You're asking the court to to waive the waive the uh, waive the uh, the mediation. Because you're giving the court a chance to say, look, I don't I don't like what you're doing here. This is too weird. I'm not not comfortable with it. I guarantee you it's legal and you can do it, but some judges just, you know, they don't. Their docket isn't crowded enough that they would care because they could easily dispose of your case right then and there. In a very defensible way, not in a default kind of way, but in a very defensible way. So when the person comes to court, if they don't come to court at this hearing, the judge can do one of two things. Waive the mediation, set you on final trial. Now you've got to your final trial date. You know this person and then you're, you're where you want to be anyway. Or on the alternative, they can basically grant you judgment right then. You've done everything you needed to do. You, you filed the motion for summary judgment. They haven't there. The court can make a finding that, that and grant your motion for summary judgment, grant you a final judgment, grant you a divorce based upon the requested pleadings and the affidavits on file, and you, you've got your final divorce. There you go. Try that out. If you're a lawyer, if you if you for some reason you're you you're so bored and your practice is so bad that it's slow that you're watching this video, try that out. I'm not board certified. I'm, there's a board certified guy down that works for me down at 
I mean, he does not. He's fixing to be board certified. He's fixing to take the test, so he's as good as board certified. I go ask him, and he's probably going to tell me, yeah. After he thinks about it for a while, probably tell me that's probably a good idea. I can't find anything wrong with it. Now, I've been doing this for thirty years, so I don't need to be board certified. Okay. Do that, man. Try it out. They can only say no. I've done things like this in the past. I can't remember ever actually doing this particular thing, but the way the lady asked the question, it, it, that's exactly what I thought. I go, oh, that's a way around this. Ask, follow through with it, okay? Do the motion, no evidence, do, do both. You gotta do a motion to waive mediation. And on the grounds of waiving mediation, you say, hey, they're not going, they're not showing up at things. So please just grant me the, go ahead and grant me a final a final judgment based on no evidence. And the no evidence is just a mechanism to allow the court to do this. And it says, hey, they didn't respond to it. I got this, I can do this. So grant it, move forward with it, try it out. If it works, send me a comment, let me know, because I'd like to know. Thanks a lot. I know it's gonna work, because we've done things like this before in the past. I just can't remember exactly when and where. 